What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage. And we got a new vehicle from FMS. All right, everybody. So FMS has come out with a new fully licensed FJ40. They came out with the 112 scale FJ45, but this one is a 110 scale FJ40. And guys, like it says right there, fully licensed, official, fully licensed product by Toyota. And I have got to say, just looking at the packaging, this thing looks absolutely awesome. So let's open this guy up, take it out of the box, and see what this thing looks like. So in the packaging, this thing is big for my desk. <laughs> so in the packaging, first thing you get is the instruction manual. As we all know, FMS is known to have these boxes that the vehicle comes in to, for one, protect them, and for two, it is a nice carrying case. You have the handle right up here. Nice carrying case to take your rig around. So again, let's open this guy up. And this is known FMS fashion. Oh man, guys. Whoo, whoo, the new RC car smell. Smells so nice. So the first thing that I wanna point out is you get a bag with some goodies put that to the side and of course you get look at that just the top but let me get this guy out all right you guys and here it is the toyota fj40 fully licensed body by toyota and the best part about this is hard body this is a complete hard body there is no lexan here but before we get into it, let's talk about the transmitter. So the transmitter is the new transmitter that FMS has been coming out with. Um, you have your steering trim, throttle trim. Um, you have your reverse steering, your re reverse throttle, your bind button right in here. You also have your third channel and a fourth channel. We'll be putting batteries in this thing and we'll see what they are going to do. And now let's talk about this one. So again, yes, this is a complete hard body, fully licensed by Toyota. Uh, the nice thing about this is every door, the hood, everything opens up. They are on metal hinges that are right up here. And once you open this guy up, Right inside here is where you will find your 550 35 turn motor, uh, 1040 ESC, and your receiver is in here, your servo, and there is also a servo in here for the steering wheel. So you turn left and right, your steering wheel is also going to be turning. So when you have somebody in there driving, they'll be able to turn with the car. So that is a nice feature that FMS added to this guy. As you guys can see here on the side, this thing just looks absolutely great. The hard body. Now, one thing I do got to tell you guys is that the side steps here and the mirrors do not come attached onto the vehicle. You actually have to put them on yourself. They come in a little bag, separate little bag that comes with it. Also with your license plates, different license plates here. And they also send out some emblems that I got right here. So this four wheel drive and the Toyota emblem that these are actually gonna end up getting put in the back, but you are gonna to have to supply your own double-sided tape to be able to stick these on. These are just very thin metal, but they look nice. And they look very scale and very true to the original Land Cruiser or FJ40 that they came onto. Now on here to the side, as you guys can see, there is a door handle here. You have a little antenna. There is another emblem here on the side. 
uh, a light here, all the lights, the front lights are functional. The, I believe this light here, this right here, there is a hole there so you can be able to put light in there. And the back is the same thing. There is a lens here with a hole that you're able to put a light right in there. And you do have a nice, it is thing just looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so you have a door handle here. Like I said, the doors all open on this. So you just turn the handle like so, and the door opens. Now the nice thing that they did is they actually put a liner, door liner on the inside with a handle here. So somebody, I know somebody will be able to get maybe these windows functioning with that right there with the window crank. Um, there are cushion seats in here, a full interior. The steering wheel, like I said, uh, you have the full clutch pedal, brake pedal, and gas pedal. You do have a shifter for the manual transmission and a shifter for the all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive system. Now, let's flip this guy to the back. And as you guys can see in the back here, it already brings a California license plate on there. You do have lenses in the back here in the bumper that you're able to put your own lights in here, but they do not come with lights. Uh, to open up the rear, again, there are metal hinges here on the top, and there are metal hinges here on the sides that you'll be able to open up these things just by opening that guy up like so, and just pulling these open and when you do open up all the doors and everything you are welcomed by two benches that are in the back now if I'm not mistaken there are a couple screws that are holding the back of the uh, bench in place and I believe you can probably take those screws out and the benches will actually fold the top of the back the backrest of the bench will actually fold down so you can make a nice flatbed back here uh, you probably will be able to pull them out if you would like but I think it just looks awesome with it. So we move over to the passenger side, the same exact thing, the mirrors. It would have been nice if these mirrors came out in a rubber type of material. Uh, if this thing does end up flipping over, these mirrors might end up breaking. Uh, maybe FMS later down the road will come out with a rubber mirror stand uh, for this thing, but I mean if this thing rolls over more than likely these mirrors are going to break because this is just plastic So the passenger side is the same exact thing. You have the door Just turn that to the side which that is a very nice feature instead of putting a magnet on there to close it and being a pain in the butt to open up you just turn the handle and it opens just like the real FJ40. And again, these are on metal hinges that you can probably see one right there and another one right in there, the two black parts. You open up the door and again, you are welcomed by the nice cushion seats that are in here. And I, this is something I definitely have to show you guys. So right inside here. So if you guys take a look right in, there you guys can see that sticker which is the gear setting instructions so FMS put that sticker in there just like it is in the real one-to-one -one. when it comes to scale looks FMS has been doing great FMS has been doing some great things with them uh, you do have your gas cap here on the side, not functional. Uh, the tires on here, they are 1.9 tires. These are B-Lock wheels. Now the tires do feel pretty good. Um, they feel pretty good. They feel like they have some pretty good grip on here. And of course, I can't forget to mention the top rack. So for all you guys that want to put stuff up here a canoe or something for the scale points and everything this guy is able to take it all uh the other thing that you're able to do with this is actually take this back top off and the doors off and you're able to just drive around with it looking like a truck so on the underside you see that there are four lane front suspension 
a four link rear suspension. Now, if you guys see right there and right there, so FMS is gonna have the option of making this a leaf spring suspension. So you're able to take these oil filled shocks off. Yes, these are oil filled, the front and rear, and you're gonna be able to put leaf springs on this thing. Um, I think these are metal gears that are in here. This is a plastic drive shaft that's here. You have your center diff right in here. And of course, right up there, you see your transmission where the motor is in place. The front links for the steering, you do have, you, you have a pan hard bar. So you do have a pan hard bar in here and your front, if you guys can see right there, is your pan hard bar and you have your front steering link. These are all metal links that are on here and that is very nice. So you do have metal CVDs that are in there. And another thing that I do have to show you guys is that this front bumper here, this is a plastic front bumper. Um, I have a pretty good feeling that somebody's gonna be making a metal bumper to be putting on here. This thing just looks absolutely stunning. So let's go open up the hood and check out what's underneath the hood here. So underneath the hood, as you guys can see, you have your 550 35 turn motor, your 1040 ESC, your receiver right in here. There is your ster servo for the steering wheel and your front servo here. I, to be honest with you, do not know what the size of that servo is, but as soon as I get the information for that guy, I will be putting it up online and you guys can see it on the in the description down below. You are also able to get these things in two colors in this beautiful orange, yellow, mustard color. <laughs> and a blue that it's gonna come out with. Uh, the starting price point for this guy is gonna be $349.99. And I have got to tell you, for a hard body, with the way that everything is on here, I think that's a pretty good, very good deal for this guy. So let's take this guy outside, give it a run, and see how it does. Let's go.
Alright you guys, so we're back in the office with the FJ40 and I have got to say, I am pleasantly surprised by this thing. I mean, I did roll this over a couple times. But, the mirrors are still intact. I thought they were going to be one of the very first things that were going to break on it. And it didn't. So, I am very happy about that. Now, I wouldn't call this a rock crawler just because it is very top heavy. This is definitely a trail truck. Uh, you are able to take the roof off and the doors and drive it without that, but that is completely up to you. Could you make it a rock crawler with, by taking that off? More than likely you could, but I'm gonna leave mine on because I love the way this looks with the topper. Um, the tires did very well. I was pleasantly surprised with that. They hooked up and got me out of some situations where I got very well stuck. Uh, the servo has got its strong servo in here, which did very well for me. Um, again, there is a servo in here for the steering wheel, which is a plus. And I've gotta say, I am very happy with this guy. Uh, for 350 bucks, guys, you guys can't go wrong with this thing. Would I pick one up? Definitely. I would definitely pick one up. So, with that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoy the content. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. You all keep our seeing. Have a good one, guys.